Is obedience restrictive? I have often heard that God's laws or the commandments are referred to as the chains of Catholicism, as if to say that if we are obedient to God's law, then in turn, we restrict the potential to live out our lives. This couldn't be further from the truth. Living in America, we live in a quote unquote free society compared to much of the world. Nevertheless, the freedoms we are awarded often come with a price. One of the easiest examples to portray this is a traffic law. There are traffic laws created in an attempt to keep drivers safe, but it comes at a cost. We have to stay within the speed limit and stop at red lights. If we go over the speed limit or hit red lights, there is a much greater chance of us getting into an accident and harming ourselves and others. God's laws serve a purpose. In the second epistle of John chapter 1, verse 6, John refers to the role of obedience by calling obedience love that we walk after his commandments. Even laws created by the government, like traffic laws, help us understand why God's laws are necessary. The difference is, traffic laws guide us on earth. God's laws go much further. They lead us to the afterlife. So why isn't obedience restrictive? It's because God, in giving us the guidelines, actually sets us free. We are set free from the sins that tie us to depression, greed, pride, and many more vices. We are set free from searching and searching for a happiness we can never achieve. Instead, God brings us into the freedom of being loved, of being happy, and of being satisfied. We let ourselves be completely taken by the law of God, as St. Matthew writes, for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, there is a purpose. Imagine a long road you must travel to get to your ultimate destination. The road twists and turns and is extremely narrow. One wrong turn and you can fall off the road. But there are fences put up to prevent you from falling. Lights so that you can see your way. The long road is our path to heaven. Those fences, lights, and safety precautions are God's commands. He doesn't restrict us. In fact, quite the opposite. He protects and helps us. Those who do not realize that sins and addictions bind us are lying to themselves. When we finally learn to let go of our own desires and unite our wills with God and follow His commands, we are set free. We are able to make conscious decisions based off of reason and not impulse. Love and freedom are the results of doing God's will. If you're still not sure, give it a try. You'll find your chains were broken and God's love has set you free.